All right. You can hear my voice, see my facial expression. Maybe, just maybe, you can guess my mood based on how I'm speaking, can you? I, I guess your mood every day <laughs> in, in 30 seconds. But listen, if you're one of those people who's a little tone deaf, you want to call it that, to reading other people's emotions, well, new apps on your mobile device might do it for you. CNN Samuel Burke tried out one of them on the streets of New York. You look deep into her eyes and see... Actually, you have no idea what you see, but your mobile app will figure it out for you. To some, it's a frightening prospect. To others, a moment of truth. The brand new generation of apps that analyze a person's voice and claim to tell you what they're really thinking. One firm is appropriately called Beyond Verbal. The three basic things we do is we understand the speaker's mood, the speaker's attitude to other subjects he speaks about, and even the speaker's emotional decision-making. So I decided to give it a try. This laptop was listening to my voice, processing it on this computer, sending it through an internet connection, and then bringing the results back here onto the laptop. Yes. Here are the results. It says, in my primary mood, pain, vulnerability, the need to fight, and in my secondary mood, communication from disappointment and sensitivity. Still not convinced? All right, let's go. I decided to test out the app on the streets of New York. So tell me about your job, what you do, and everything so, about it. I work at Lily's Times Square. It's a Victorian bar. My owner is, like, hand-painted to the ceiling. Everything is from, like, Ireland, south of France. You are active and action-oriented and friendly, F even flirting a little bit. <laughs> so you think that's an accurate description yes, of yes, the, two your thumbs up. arrogance and eliminating the other? Great. Wow, okay. So it says goal-oriented, constructive communication. That makes you, sense. Beyond Verbal hopes other companies will adopt their technology. They suggest car makers could use it to improve safety. Your car understands you're a little bit distracted, lowering your speed and keeping you and your family safe. Call centers dealing with the public are already using the software. Some may consider it intrusive, but Beyond Verbal says the app is not a lie detector test, and they admit there are limits to what their software can reveal. This is what my wife said. If you need this type of software in order to understand your wife better, you're in bad shape anyway. <laughs> Maybe some voices are better left unanalyzed. Samuel Burke, CNN, New York.